everything, every, I didn't, I didn't even know about that there was gonna be a big on recruiting and stuff. But actually, I really, they said they go probably go to offer. So I'm waiting on that. And then uh, about linebacker, they love me at linebacker. They love me at running back. So I guess I, I already feel home. I feel like they love me. Everybody came up to me. They love me. Hey, I like being around them and stuff like that. Especially Coach Alfred. He actually like a dad to me now. So. Uh, I think everything just went awesome for me, at least unexpected. And I, I want to thank, I want to thank Coach Mahan too for bringing me out here and re helping me on my recruitment and stuff like that. So, yeah. So. How much have you been talking to, to Coach Alfred and stuff before, um, before now? I've been talking to Coach, Coach Alfred for like two months now, two months now, and he was actually waiting on me to get out, get out here and see how I work. So now we gonna stay more in contact. And um, yeah, so. We saw you doing both running back, linebacker stuff. Yep. How did how did that come up? Did they decide that you want to do that? Did you want to do that? Um, they they decided I want to do that because I was actually over here running with the running backs, and then it came up to me and said, "Come do some linebacker." I came do some linebacker. It was impressing me at linebacker. So even one, I don't care. I'll, I'll play. So how comfortable are you at linebacker? Um, I I, I mean I get comfortable, but as of right now, uh, iffy. But as running back, I'm I'm so comfortable there. So. Linebacker is something you can work on, though. Yeah, I can, I, can, okay. I can work on that and get better at that. So whatever they want me to do, I'm ready. What was maybe the best thing you thought you did today and maybe something that they told you you think you can now take and work on? Um, uh, my spin moves, my uh, jump cuts and stuff, and especially linebacker, getting low, standing low, make sure I'm on the balls of my feet and all that stuff. So and I can take that home with me and really practice on it and stuff and make sure I'm good. So. And where, where else are you going to be going now from here? Um, so Thursday, I'm actually leaving for California. I'm going to go down there and go on the little official down there. Actually, tomorrow, I'm coming back here. So, And then tomorrow on the 23rd, I'm coming back here. So that's it. That's it. That's about that. So. Will you work out again or are you just visiting? Um, they said they said they'd go work me out again. So it's whatever they want me to do. So. Had you talked to Coach Washington before this at all? Or was this your first um, time? This is my first time actually meeting him. Actually, oh, really? I'm actually meeting all the coaches up for Coach Alfred. So... Yeah, that's it, for real. So. Did you come here expecting to get the, the one on one no. workout treatment? You no, got? <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lot of good people here, and there is, but I don't know it was going to be on me like that. So it's actually really a blessing. I only thing I can thank is the man above for helping me out and really guiding me through this process and stuff. So, what do you think you showed them here, and I guess in the early part of the things that made them want to kind of pull you aside and, and do that kind of work? How, how, how good my routes is, how my stand low. And just my athletic system and stuff, how quick I am. Because I, I ran a 4 5 1, so I mean, that's pretty good to them, I guess you could say. So. The, the defensive stuff you're doing with Coach Gomes and Coach Washington, I, I know you're kind of listed as a running back, but how natural does that kind of defensive stuff come to you? I mean, when I was, I mean, when I was little, I did a little bit of running. I mean, I did a little bit of linebacker and stuff, and I was pretty good at it. So it just brings back a lot of stuff that I did. So, I mean, I was, I mean, I was cool with it. So, yeah. So. You think about the, how weird the last year was for everybody and not being able to go to stuff like this. Like, how, how important is it for a player like you to come to an event like this and kind of catch the eyes of the coaches? It's highly, it's highly important to me because if I never came to this, they would, I would still, it would still be kind of dry. They would never met me. They would never have saw me in person and stuff. So, I'm just kind of blessed that it, the whole Corona thing is kind of over and stuff like that, and I can get back to business to work and so. What's the recruiting process been like for you? Where else have you been visiting? Where else are you planning to visit? Um, so, uh, like I said, Thursday, I'm actually going to uh, California. And then um, tomorrow, I'm actually coming back here. Tomorrow on the 23rd, I'm coming back here. And yeah, that's about it. So, But all the other ones I went to, I went to Iowa State. I went to uh, Michigan. They love me at Michigan. Um, I was supposed to go to a lot more, but I turned them down because I only can have five official visits. So. Yeah, so. How much communication did you have with Ohio State before today? Um, yeah, it was kind of iffy. Coach, I mean, Coach Alfred will hit up every once in a while, but now I got a lot of everybody love me and stuff, so I guess I'm more in contact with him than I thought it would be, so. What was it like getting that chance to work with Coach Alfred today? Yeah, you know, it was actually really a blessing because I realized that he was the only one that was pulling me aside and helping me for real, for real, so not a, not offense to nobody else or the running backs, no other running backs, but kind of just blessed like, how, he, how he pulled me aside and helped me with my stuff and helped me get better and just made me feel home, so. What do you think it was you were able to do out there that made him pay more attention to you? Uh, my route running and how tall I am, how fast I am, how fast I am, so. Um, actually, and how really how fast I am, how I got downfield, got a vertical. So, did they give you any indication of which side of the ball they were thinking they're interested in you on? Well, 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 they were just trying me out at linebacker. So, 
they well coach ever said he really won't be back back there with Maya and them so be blessing to be back there with them so what would difference um <laughs> you want the ball, it's okay, you can see. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I want the ball. I want the ball. Like like my coach said, I'm gonna get 25, 30 carries a game, so. Is that like, special to you, though, to know that like they look at you and like, hey, let's see what he can do at linebacker, too, just in case? Yeah, I mean, that's I mean, that, like I said, that's the blessing. That's the blessing that I can play more than one position. There's a lot of kids out here, they either only can play one position or they can play no positions for real, so actually kind of really we're blessing so I can play both, both sides of the ball. You, you mentioned Mayan. I mean, he was kind of a freestar guy like yourself, kind of a late uh, bloomer in recruitment, and then he comes here. Like, does that inspire you? That, like, yeah, because hey, as a matter of fact, I saw something on social media when they was talking about that he might start this year and might play a lot. So, I mean, this is what, freshman, sophomore year? Yep. Sophomore, sophomore year. year. He coming up here already about to play against 100,000 people. And that's that's really, go that's my that's my dream, to play in front of all the people and really show what I can do. So an Ohio so, State off would mean a lot to you. That would mean so much to me. That's actually one of my dream schools. But actually, I wanted to play against them to to beat them or something like that before I beat them. <laughs> but since they, I never thought this would happen, but since they own me, so now I'm, I'm, now I'm on one of their top lists. So now I love them, so. What are the things that are most important to you as you move toward making your decision that, you know, the things you need to see in a school before you commit there? Home, if it feels home. Like I said, if it feels home, that made me feel home. Like the coaches, the players, the staff, just everybody, just making me feel here, making me feel like I wanted to be here. Do you have like a decision timeline, like when you want to make a decision by? Probably, uh, like July, August, probably there. July, August around there. We we'll just keep my recruitment open. Think you'll be back for a game this fall, though? Yeah, for sure. When you say uh, that you want to beat Ohio State, is that one of those things where like, they're, they're, you know, they're <laughs> That was my dream to beat them, for real. But yeah. since they own me now, so, I mean, you know, listen, I got to love them now, so. <laughs> Did you, like, yeah. grow up for rooting for another school or something? Uh, Clemson. That was my Clemson, my dream. Uh, my other you didn't dream. tell them that, though. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know so, that. Uh, actually, I was supposed to go down there in July, but. There. We just stopped talking, so I'm fine with that. So, what did you think when you were watching the Ohio State Clemson game back in December? Um, <laughs> uh, um, I really can't determine that because I mean, I, now I like both schools now, so um, I really can't say nothing bad about each one of them because they both good schools. So, are you taking any official Oh uh, yeah, I, I took. Um, actually, I only took uh, Michigan. I took Michigan. I took. Uh, who was the last one I just took? Uh, Iowa State. Iowa State, they're highly on my list. They, they're they going to be on my top four for sure if I make one. Okay, and then the other three spots, do you know who that could be yet for the officials if you take them? Um, no, not yet. Okay. But Ohio State could be one of them? Ohio State is going to be one of them if they offer. So just waiting on the offer. So they said they're going to evaluate me tonight and see if they really want me and stuff like that. They already said I'm a good enough player to be here. So. You're blessed to be here. So you mentioned, you know, you want a school that feels like home. I know you're only here today, but did, did this start to feel that way? Yeah, because Coach Alfred, he brought me aside. We was laughing and all that. He made me feel home and stuff. And yeah, like, and then when I went over to do linebacker, a lot of coaches came up to me and said what's up to me and stuff like that. So the only person I can thank is him and the God above. So.